Organizing every area in your house may seem like an impossible task, but with the appropriate plan, your entire home can be nice and tidy. Allow yourself sufficient time to complete this task. A well-organized house is a massive undertaking, so don't put too much pressure on yourself to do it quickly. Instead, embrace the process and know that at the end of it, you'll have a wonderfully ordered home. So, let's take a look at 10 home organizing ideas. But before we get started, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Number 10. Start in one place. Start with one section of your house if you have several to manage. You choose which one to tackle first, the one that gives you the most trouble, or the one that visitors to your house can see the most easily. Choose one area to focus on, whatever your priorities are. When that chore of cleaning the entire house appears overwhelming, many attempts at organizing fail. Celebrate your accomplishments before moving on to the next area. Number 9. Transform your junk drawer into an everyday drawer. Instead of labeling it a rubbish drawer, consider it a drawer for everyday necessities. Batteries, paper clips, scissors, tape, and other miscellaneous objects are frequently found in this drawer. The term junk drawer implies that the drawer is full of garbage and worthless objects. However, the term daily drawer accurately describes what it is, a drawer that you need to open regularly for a variety of essential products. Seeing the drawer in this light might help you avoid stuffing it with things you really don't need. Number 8. Take Inventory Examine what's left after you've removed the unnecessary object. Is this the right place for it? Is it appropriate to keep it here? Is there another location where you have more room to store it or where it would be more conveniently accessible for its intended purpose? Move that professional-grade mixer you've been storing in the back of your closet to the kitchen, for example. You may include the mixer in the new kitchen storage design when it's time to handle that section of the house. Number 7. Incorporate Shoe Boxes Shoe boxes keep your shoe dust-free and protect them from being harmed by other shoes being dumped on top of them. Purchase clear shoe boxes for practical organizing so you can see all of your shoes at a glance. Many of these boxes even allow you to open them from the front, eliminating the need to go through piles of boxes to find the pair of shoes you want. Number 6. Make an art station on wheels. If your kid's crayons, coloring books, paper, and paint are scattered about the house, arrange them into a portable art station. Purchase a movable shelf unit so that you may relocate this station to wherever your children are working on their art projects. This also teaches your children how to be organized if they have to return their goods to the station in the same place they discovered them. Number 5. Create a filing system. If you maintain paper records, ensure that they are kept in a neat and orderly manner. You can use a basic accordion folder if you don't have a lot of records to keep and want them to be easy to carry. You may either utilize a standalone file cabinet or a filing system that fits in an existing desk drawer. This keeps documents from being strewn around while yet allowing you simple access to your information. Number 4. Organize your seasonal clothes. Spend a day putting away your seasonal clothing twice a year. Consider giving clothes that you haven't worn in the previous season at this time. This will keep your closet from being crowded and crammed. You can store seasonal garments on the top shelf of your closet if you have the room, so they are easy to rotate when the season changes again. If you don't have the space, place your garments in an airtight container and keep them in an area that doesn't become too hot or cold. Number 3. Try the 8-Minute Rule The 8-Minute Guideline may be used in every room in your house. Set a timer for 8 minutes every night and save as much as you can in that time. The goal is not to completely organize your space, rather it aids in the development of organizational habits and the prevention of cluster development. Number 2. Organize your spices. When you're cooking, it might be difficult to figure out which spice you need. If that's the case, a step organizer for spices in deep cabinets is a good option. A tiered organizer gives you simple access to your spices while also allowing you to see the names of all of them at once. Your meals 
will no longer burn on the burner as you dig in the spice cabinet. Number one, construct a grab and go cleaning station. Cleanliness and organization are intrinsically tied and methods are essential for keeping your house in order. You can keep your cleaning materials simple and organized in one limited unit by building a grab and go cleaning station. In a container, keep the cleaning tools you use most. Any extra goods you don't use very often can be put beneath the sink next to the caddy. This produces a well-organized station, eliminating the need to go seeking items. So guys, that was it for this video. What did you think about our video? Let us know in the comment section below. If you are new to our channel, be sure to subscribe and ring that notification bell to get notified about our latest videos. Thank you for watching.